you know, Channel 9 was really um, a brainstorm that hit me when I was on too much cold medicine. And so maybe that's why <laughs> it'll either sink or fail based on the reality of it. But after PDC, I was so worn out and stressed out and I was at home and I, t I had taken a bunch of cold medicine and I was trying to get through things. And I started thinking, you know, PDC rocked this year. It was fun. You know, I mean, it felt like for the first time in a while that we weren't just sort of talking, you know, us to our customers, but it was all about, you know, a big party with a bunch of geeks talking about code. And, and it was a, a good thing in a number of ways because there was a lot of cool stuff to talk about. But, you know, what felt so right about PDC was people came up to me afterwards and said, you know what the coolest thing was about PDC? The coolest thing was that I actually met people from Microsoft. And um, I went out and I had drinks with them. You know, we did. We met lots of people. I mean, mm -hmm. Scoble was at dinners every night. We all went to different parties and met people in hotel lobby bars and talked to people over lunch. And, and we got out there. And um, we did some things that were a little bit different like that. And people blogged about it, yeah. right? I mean, people wrote about their experiences. And, and they said, you know, this was a lot of fun. I actually met people and it was cool. You know, it was, it was like a lot of people would sit there and go, hey, you guys like, like building software too. You know, like, hello. You know, I love building software, and um, I like cool applications. And it, it was so cool to actually get out and talk to people rather than just making a couple of posts in a news group. Completely. You know, and it was just yeah. such a big difference between being in a chat room and, and actually, you know, seeing customers and, and getting to meet them. You know, that's, that, that was the inspiration for, for Channel 9 in many ways. I started thinking, how can we keep the party going? You know, how can the PDC live on? How can we all get a chance to know each other and um, to share some of those stories about why we like to build software or why we're into what we do mm -hmm. or, you know, to, to, to be angry and share, you know, <coughs> feedback about things that don't work and to share things that we're excited about. So, so that was really it. You know, it came out of this, uh, this cold medicine haze. And, and I Excellent. started thinking, man, you know, uh, when I was uh, in my early 20s, there was this moment that I had where a friend of mine was almost in a plane crash. I told you guys about this yeah. in the beginning. And this is side of the personal side of the story about why I call it ch why the Channel Nine ID even came about. But this this fr friend of mine who I worked with was on this plane, and um, the thing lost its hydraulics out of San Francisco International. They had just taken off, and suddenly it started doing wacky movements. And before you know it, the stewardesses were looking panicked, and they came back and said, "You know what? We've got a problem. We lost our hydraulics, and uh, we don't know if we can actually land this thing. We can't even steer it very well right now." And, you know, it freaked me out, you know, because I fly a lot, and I never really thought about how the fact that sometimes there's two guys up in the front that control a couple hundred people's lives. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how sometimes our customers feel when I talk to people. And the way I got over my fear of flying was actually to meet pilots. Um, I, I learned a lot about how planes fly and about what things do, and I started thinking, man, how therapeutic could it be for people who hate us and who are afraid of us to and figure out? We know you're out there. And we know you're out <laughs> Just there. Just a few of you. Because a lot of us, you know, some of us used to be you. It's I mean, worse than that because in a plane you're only flying for two or five hours or on a really long flight, maybe 18 hours. Right, right. But with our products, you use them, you know, 14 hours a day. Every day, man. Every day. And that's why the, the flaws in products, you know, um, get accentuated and, and frustrate people. You know, it, when the PDC came, it, you know, it was like this perfect, um, almost this perfect storm. Um, you know, it was amazing content, stuff for like, you know, that, you know, with Longhorn, Yukon, and Whidbey. I, I think people out in the community were, you know, sick and tired of, of you know, like a lot of the PR talk, and they mm -hmm. were like gravitating to web logs and, um, and having this, this conversation one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, it was, you know, it was amazing at a different time, but now it's like, okay, that was cool. Weblogs are great, um, but you know, how can we take it to the next level? And I think that's one of the things that we're going to have to do, and, and, and actually push ourselves. Mm -hmm. How can we be more open? How can we, you know, make this not just, you know, this is not just a, this produced thing. I don't yeah. exactly know what we're going to do next week or the week after next, yeah. but you know, it's like, what do people want to see? Yeah. And um, well, I mean, they're going to they're going to tell us what they want to see. Oh, yeah. I mean, right after I, our I first, hope so. yeah. hopefully, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they tell us what they want, and we'll try and give it to them. It's right. hard though I mean, if you're on the outside, you you don't have an idea of the scope of what this company's doing. I, I just came back from the Microsoft Tech Tech Fest, um, and I yeah. saw really wild photo apps being designed. I saw, you know, all sorts of different algorithms to attack spam and other kinds of problems that we're There's having. There's tons of crazy stuff. There's tons of cool things that are being done in companies like this, and. And that's what we got to figure out to do. I mean, that's why we started this whole thing, which is, you know, how can we let the world see a little bit more about what's going on with Microsoft? And more importantly, I think all of us agree, because we were all developers at one time on the outside, 
how do you become part of the conversation? Yeah. Right? How, how can, you know, how do we open that dialogue up? I mean, I think mm -hmm. that's why we all kind of came together on this project is that we all believe that people should get a chance not only to see these things, but to talk about them with us and to let us know, is this working? Is this what you want? Mm -hmm. Is this where it's going? I mean, this is Channel 9 is about not just seeing into the cockpit and listening into the pilots flying the plane. It's about talking back, which is something you can't do on an airplane when you're oh, listening absolutely. to maybe Channel 9 on the radio system. And I think that's the big difference here is, you know, Robert knows this more than anyone from his time in the blogging world, right? I mean, mm -hmm. blogs are about relationships. There's a conversation happening. Doc Searle said it in the Clue Train Manifesto. Markets are conversations. People are out there talking about your products. And if you're not at the table, you're missing out. Well, yeah. you know, we don't want to miss out. And that's why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. you know, we're kind you of lucky if, to get the chance. If you don't this. build remarkable products, people don't talk about you right. or they ignore you. You know, yeah, or really or worse, they uh, you know like we, we've seen some of our communities, they heap scorn at you. So um, that's our challenge: is to take the feedback that we're getting and have a conversation, and then build great products that people use and like. So um, how do you think we're going to do this first? So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to do video, right? Scoble's yeah. got his camera on the table here. Yeah. We're going to go out there and, and you know bring other parts of Microsoft. Mm -hmm. um, but what's what are you doing? Like how are you going to yeah. teach people about what we're doing and who we are? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm going around the campus and trying to figure out what people are working on and talking to some of the developers who are uh, doing really interesting things. Cool. Um, talking like who? to some, who's, who's some of the examples oh, of some of the people you guys are talking um, to? Eric Gunnarsson. I'm talking to um, Alan Griver, who's uh, planning out the next version of Visual Studio right now. Um, We're going to talk to Chris Brum, Anders Heilsberg, and Patrick Dussou, the brains of the CLR. Yeah. That'll be nice. And it, it's evolving. We're, we're uh, also trying to get into not, not just the stars that everybody knows in the community, but the normal, everyday person who works here at Microsoft. I think that's yeah. important, too, is the everyday normal people at Microsoft. Hey, hello, I got a mortgage, too, you know? Um, mm -hmm. You know, why am you, Lenson, why are you here? Well, I got a kid to go to college next year, and, uh, you know, I've got a mortgage and things like that. But it's also, I'm passionate about what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's not about the rock stars all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... You know, some of the most amazing things that I've seen in this company is, you know, I run into somebody and I say, what are you working on? And then their eyes light up and it says, I'm working on this. Right, and, they, and, they, right. and, they, and they talk about all these cool things that they're doing. And it's like, giving visibility to that. You know, when I came here and, and I came to this company, I mean, I just remember I was just so blown away that I got this chance. Yeah. And I was like, just blown away that I got here. <laughs> and I remember when I, well, like, I was interviewing, I was like, okay, if I can just uh, do a phone screen, I'll be happy with that. When I got to fly in for an interview, it was like, wow, I get a free trip to Redmond. It's going to end after that. And I was like you're hiring me um, you know and when I got here it was just so you know it was so awesome but I'm proud to be here I'm proud of the company and what we do I love yeah. building software I think everyone brings a different angle to the table about why they're doing this thing and and what we hope to get out of it. I'm curious what do you guys think would be the ultimate failure in pulling this show together and pulling this site together the ultimate failure yeah what would what do you think would really suck or what do you think I think it would really would suck, if, suck if we if we found that customers really don't care yeah. what what uh, Christopher Brum does on the weekend, or what Eric Lippard thinks about the Matrix. If they just really, big yeah. deal. If they, in other words, we give them this, we seed out this information about, hey, this is what Microsoft people are really like. The biggest failure for me would be that people don't care. Yeah. You know, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure that it's about people caring about what Christopher yeah. Brum does on the weekend. I think if people don't want to have a conversation, like mm -hmm. we're trying to give them, you know, I mean, we're. We're building this sort of this forum site where people can go in and have a sort of different conversation than you have on a blog because it's a little bit more open. Mm -hmm. And if people aren't interested in having a conversation, I would be on, on the one hand I'd be surprised, on the other hand I'd be sort of disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. We it, also we also fail too if we script it. If you know, it's like we are going out and doing that. If people are, right. it's like. Hi, Eric. Uh, we want to do an interview. And he's like sitting there going, okay, well, these are the things that I want to cover. These are the messages that I want to go across. Mm -hmm. And that just will blow. Well, that's one reason we bought little tiny cameras. Yeah. Yeah. And we're hand-holding them. You know, it's not a, an ultimate professional video shoot, although this is a little over the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is... This is about as produced as anything you're going to see on here. But this is how we're doing this. I mean, this yeah. is this is really five guys on a website. And, uh, you know, this little handheld Canon camera here, a little DV camera, is how we're going out there. I mean, we're going out there. We're going to 
We're going to bring some of the people that you don't get to see at Microsoft to the forefront. We're going to show you what it's a little bit like to work at Microsoft, see some of the quirky things that are here. But more importantly, we're going to talk about the products and the problems you're having. We're going to try to figure out, you know, how we can work together to, to make this thing click, you know. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, but it, and we take them out to just, lunch. We take, you know, we're planning to go, go to some, peop some of the developers' homes and catch them, you know, while they're just playing around a little bit to, to try to get outside of the corporateness. It's also awesome. uh, it's totally, and it's also just not the DV cameras. We're, you know, we're going to have somewhere down in you know on the site. There's going to be this um, a mobile blog. So it's like Microsoft employees taking pictures throughout the day, putting them up there, yeah. right. giving them a little tour of what's going on. There's writing. There's there's boards and things like that. The DV cameras are going to be pretty cool, but uh, there's That's a lot of other things too. Give people a chance to see inside. How how, fa how much uh, filtering? Are we going to admit to? <laughs> how much filtering are we going to admit to? How much filtering <laughs> have we done? How much filtering? Have you've you've shot how many things? Not yet. How, mm, you, not yet. how many things have you shot? I've done three. I've done camera crew on three. So. So, so if you're curious as to do we edit? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to edit because I don't think you want to listen to an hour's worth of us rambling on about things that may not be interesting. And there's work. a heck of a lot of boring to cut out. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> that's that's true. true. That's that's true. true. Oh my gosh, that's you know, a lot of we're we're a lot less interesting than we probably think in many ways, but yeah. that's okay. I mean, we're going to try to find the interesting things that are in there. It's, um, it's funny when I came back from shooting something. I was like, everybody comes back from the shooting of something, they go. I got the most amazing thing on film. And everybody <laughs> comes around the office and we put it on. I'm like, yeah, this is just like crazy <laughs> stuff. This is just the best ever. And you're, you're watching and go, this sucks. It's funny, I sat on a, one of my plane flights, I sat next to the camera crew from CNN. Did <laughs> he you? was giving me camera tricks. <laughs> <laughs> camera tricks from yeah. CNN. Scoble getting camera tips from CNN. Did he write, t write about you on your blog? No. No? no. He didn't Did he have, have a blog. No. Oh, okay. He's not allowed to have a blog at CNN. Really? So, oh, no. that's right. There's a total ban very, on those. You know, very so. few mm. companies bigger than 10,000 uh, people, employees, have blogs, have any blogs, and yep. we have more than 300 employees blogging here. We, so. Even more than that. Three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, I just looked on, that's just, just on blogs.msdn.com the other day. I'm going to get in trouble for this number because I'm going to get it wrong, but it's like, go down and look on the left, you go to blogs.msdn, yeah. and you look at the total blogs, yeah. mm -hmm. and I forget what it was, like, I'll just pull a number like 384 or something like that, it's probably more now, and I was just like, that's just on there. So you yeah. can't even have a, a personal blog at these companies? Yeah, no. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the PR methodology of the old school is to control the messaging, control everything that's presented hmm. about the company. Hmm. And here we're in an experiment where we have no control. We, totally. It's almost peer know, pressure. This is a it's, almost like a, the, it, yeah. it's almost peer pressure of, it's like, okay, yeah. do you have a web log? And then, then if you do, like, don't be lame and like do that. Hello, I'm a something in, in you know, I'm going to pick somebody's product and they're going to come up and send me hate mail tomorrow thinking that I'm talking about them, but they come out and they say, you know, I'm on this product and I'm a C-sharp person and this is the Hello World post. Yeah. Yeah. And I bookmark every one of those ones and then I go back to them like a month later. Or, or, you know, I say, okay, you made that first post, you took that leap, and then why See didn't, what, 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 and then they didn't make yeah. it. Or, you know, some people do, and I'm like, wow, who is this guy? It's yeah. a hard thing. Well, some people believe. write automated uh, post yeah. scripts. Who does that? Rob oh, no names, but no names. The, the people who are, pro are proper the most. He doesn't automate the content of the post, though. He no. just automates the timing. Yeah, but he has, yeah. he's probably... Yeah, it, it is the so guy's much, writing code. He doesn't have a lot of time to do all those posts. He's a Different smart guy, right? He set yeah. it up so they post in the morning. You got They're it. there when I get there in the yeah. morning. Yeah. I was talking to somebody. This is why don't you weblog more? And I was like, there's so much work deciding about what I can't weblog yeah, yeah, and right. what I can't weblog about mm -hmm. that this is like just almost a, like such a relief that we're doing this thing yeah. because yeah. now so you can talk about I, it. I can yeah. talk over whatever the hell, yeah. whatever the hell I want to talk about because. That's what our job is. Yeah. And um, although that's, that's cool. not really true, I, well, uh, you know, in, in several uh, meetings I attended, in, in fact, even at the tech fest, you know, I'd go up and they knew who I was, and it's like, don't vlog this, please. <laughs> yeah. But there's there's opinion blogging, and you're, you know, there's a lot yeah. of stuff about talking about, you know, yeah. your opinions on the industry and the things on our products, but. You know, there's also just talking about your life and what it is that you do. There's different yeah. kinds of sharing. I mean, there's different types of communication in the blog yeah. world and stuff, or in anything. You know, I mean, it's that might be a good topic for discussion. Why do companies keep secrets? You know, why why does Microsoft not reveal some things, and why does it reveal other things? For know? the same re one competitive of the, edge, I mean, competitive patents. Edge. It's the way the system works. And also, what Jeff was saying, we don't know if we're going to actually create something and release it. Why yeah. tell yeah. people about it? Yeah. And I guess what we're talking about with Channel Nine is we're going to take that to the extreme, and talk to not just like you're saying, not just the superstars, but go talk to these people who.
build windows? What, what are they like? We are looking for content because you know we're making this up as we go along. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom line is people want to know how to work with us, how to partner with us, how to best make it, take advantage of the marketplace and the conditions yeah. in it. And that's really what it comes down to.